Renewable energy is a huge topic in Germany. Uh, Germany is in the process of an energy transition or Energiewende um, that is an effort to abandon fossil fuels for renewables. After the nuclear disaster in Fukushima in 2011, the German government pledged to phase out nuclear power by 2022. And many, many people assume that Fukushima is the origin of the energy transition, but Germany has a deeper history of engagement with renewable energy that often started at the grassroots. Especially the so-called oil price shock of 1973 was a major impetus to start tinkering with wind, pol uh, wind uh, uh, power generators or solar energy panels. And abandoning nuclear energy is only one part of the energy transition. Abandoning coal is arguably even more important, given that coal still makes up 30% of Germany's energy production just last year. Uh, coal, of course, has a much larger carbon footprint than nuclear. To stay with the year 2019, Germany generated 54% of its electricity uh, from non-renewable sources and 46% from renewable sources. I derive these figures from the energy charts provided by the Fraunhofer Institute. So this is not yet a 50-50 situation, let alone a replacement of fossil fuels. By comparison, the American energy mix relied on 11% of renewables in the same year in 2019. So in 2019, Germany used 46% of renewables and the United States 11% of renewables. But this is not the whole story because you also need to consider energy use over time. And here, historian Stephen Gross of NYU has uncovered an interesting pattern, namely that already in the 1970s, West Germany made efforts to decouple economic growth from energy use. He found that the consumption of energy uh, in West Germany had declined since the late 1970s. So put differently, the energy intensity of the German economy today is about 30% of what it used to be in 1970. One last aspect, Germans pay the highest consumer electricity prices in Europe, having recently surpassed Denmark. Still, support for the energy transition and for renewables remains high, although there are surely quibbles and disagreements on how to proceed to implement this energy transition.